when you want a job in Germany, you need to convince in a job interview. This is basically the key to get a job. If you don't convince in a job interview, you won't succeed. So I'm Manuel and I'm from Germany. And I'm Juan from Brazil, but living and working in Germany now for over 12 years. And together we are Growing, Growing Abroad, Abroad Career Coaching, where we help foreigners, skilled foreigners to get a job in Germany, learn about the gym culture and empowering them to make their dream to live and work come true. And in this video, we will talk about the five most important things you need to prepare before a job interview. Stay in this video and let's go. So before you convince in a job interview, it's very important that you need to convince in paper first, because if you don't convince in paper, you're not gonna get job interviews and you won't have the chance to get the job. So the first step is very important. You have to convince in paper. You need to understand what are the requirements that the Germans are looking for when looking for a candidate. You should have a CV which is uh, German standard with uh, good content and also content aligned with the job description. Yeah. So you need to have a cover letter which also tells about your ambition and your skills and why you are the best to get this position. Yeah. On top of that, there are also other supporting documents such as reference letter or uh, certification from um, some courses in, um, that you have done in the past. So with all that, uh, you build your application and hopefully then convince and get an interview. Perfect. And now you convinced in paper and you have your first job interview. So the most important thing is to prepare for this job interview. We coached already a lot of foreigners who got rejections after rejections in a job interview. And then we worked with them and asked them, okay, why did you write rejections? Yeah, I don't know, I was in a job interview and they asked me this and I couldn't answer and whatever. And then when we asked them, okay, did you prepare for these questions? Did you prepare before? They were like, yeah, kind of, but not really. So this is like the key, you need to prepare. For example, when you take um, a sport athlete, for example, a sprinter, he's not just going to the competition and just sprinting, he is training for this competition half a year before. And that's basically the same in job interviews, you have to train before to convince in the job interview. As much as you train and you understand the requirements and you understand who you are and the skills that you have and you speak that loud and you train, you're gonna get better. You're gonna yeah. convince, you're gonna be more confident. So it's all about training, trying again and get, getting better and better again. So let's come to the top five things you need to prepare for. So the first thing is your research about the interviewers and the company. When you have this job interview, you have sometimes usually before. And in this time, you should take this time and then search on the internet for the company and the interviews and prepare for that. Of course, that this is a time that you need to take in order to understand yeah. the company values. Exactly. Uh, maybe you can also uh, look for the uh, recruiters in the LinkedIn and see where did they uh, worked. Where uh, did they uh, do the master, bachelor? Where, which language they speak? So you need to understand in order to maybe bring some of these facts in the interview because in the end of the day, people and hire managers doesn't hire only on skills, but they hire also people. based on people and emotion. So you need to speak on the same level and this will definitely give you some insights. Every piece of information that you get before helps you in the actual interview because you can prepare, mentally prepare as well for the interview itself. And as one already said, the more things you find in common, for example, with the interviewer, the more things you can mention also in the interview and the more things the interview will feel related to you. And this is a psychological hack to convince actually to the interview. Yes, prepare, prepare and prepare. So the second thing is that you need to tailor your answers to the position. Basic, but the most important thing. Believe us, we work with so many people. Almost nobody really does it. It sounds difficult, but it's simple. The yeah. interviewer already gives you a snapshot what they are looking for in the job description. They tell you, 
hey, this is what I'm looking for. So and then in the interview, you come and you start talking about, I don't know, the certification that you did soccer player. I don't know, but that's not a, what they are looking for. Try to tailor all your speech based on the description of the job that they already gave to you. So try to uh, ask questions about the processes, about the approach, many things that you could take out of this uh, description. Because if you do that, you're going to be speaking the same language as the interviewer and the hire manager. So if you talk about other experiences which are not relevant, this will be a distraction and they will not even pay attention yeah. for that. They look for something and if you give them before they ask, your conversation is going to be much better. Yeah. So the third thing you should prepare before is a pitch about yourself, like an elevator pitch. Because the first question, most of the times, not always, but most of the times will be, okay, please introduce yourself. And then you should have an overview about your person in like two to three minutes which hits, which shows the interviewer that you're motivated, that you are the right candidate to interview, and that, yeah, that you're basically the one they should hire. And you should bring emotion and not just to say, well, I'm one, I'm from Brazil, but living and working in Germany. No, I'm one, I'm from Brazil, but living and working in Germany now for yeah. over 12 years. So I'm very passionate about project management and that's why you need to bring that, that emotion. Exactly. And this emotion come across the camera or in face to face totally different. And the biggest uh, mistake a lot of people do is that when they got asked, being asked this question, they just list again their whole CV. So, well, I'm Manuel and I have done that, and then I've done that, and then I've done that, and then I've done that. So they basically read out their CV again. You don't have to do that because <laughs> the interviewer already have this information. They already have this information. So you need to bring other information. You need to bring the motivation. You Okay, maybe you can point out two great things you did in your life which will benefit to the position and keep it short. Yeah, don't ex over exaggerate it and don't talk for 10 minutes or something. Keep it short, two to three minutes about your. Write it down yeah, and before. make a story a line which is catching and inspiring. Anytime that someone asks you, you're going to have that by heart. You can always adapt here and there and this will definitely make a big difference because the first impression is the one which is staying. Yeah. And if you don't have a nice uh, starting and a good speech, this already can um, be a point to get a rejection. Yeah. So the fourth point you should prepare for, you could, for example, prepare your pitch for that. Have a mock-up interview with a friend maybe. Videotape yourself and then watch it. So how, how is your appearance? How do you move your body? How is your voice? How, where do you look while you're talking to somebody? All those small things you would say are the ones which actually make the decision. Um, because everything what you're doing has an opinion, makes an impression to the interview. So these are not the small things, these are big things. So your body language, your voice, when you watch yourself before, you know maybe where to correct something. Okay, and how is your appearance? So this is important to do. Most people don't do it, but yes. this is um, and very it, important. And it's very simple. Videotape yourself, watch and ask yourself, do I, do I like what I see? Would I hire me? <laughs> yes, if you say yes, then you are great. If you say, well, I'm not sure, I don't like you in there, then work on it. And maybe also get an other opinion. So send it to a friend or send it to someone who has a professional experience already. Get another opinion because sometimes your own opinion differs from other opinions. And have a sense, you know, uh, if the background is looking good, if your yeah. body language, if you're looking the eye in the camera. So there are so many small things, as Mano mentioned, which will make a difference. Yeah. Pay attention on that because this is really important. And the last thing you should prepare for is your mental preparation. Sometimes you have an interview, it's a very important interview maybe, and you're nervous. So this is really important to prepare mentally before an interview. Just sit down, for example, take a deep breath before calm down and um, have good thoughts in your head like think of a good ending to the interview think of a successful interview think of i can do it i can rock that interview like have a positive self-talk in yourself 
rather than a negative because this makes an impression in the interview. It has an effect in the interview. Yes, and do it also before the interview, this training, you know? Change your energy, move your body, be there, be present, yeah. because you're gonna start the interview with a different energy. And when you ha have this interview, it's maybe one hour, 30 minutes, you need to be present. You need to be energetic. And yeah. this uh, positive thoughts and vibration will bring you forward. You need to be confident. In the interview, uh, you always need to remember, it's a meeting that you're gonna have where you will check if you want to work for this company and maybe also the hire manager will check if they want to hire you. It's like from both sides. If you say, well, I don't like it, I don't want it, then I don't have it. Always remember these are two sides and you should not be afraid of having an interview, never. So these were the five things you should prepare before a job interview, it's super important. Actually, one and me, we help skilled foreigners with a university degree or people who are still studying to get a job in Germany. So we prepare them for the job interview. We have different services for that, we have different trainings for that, where we teach you step by step everything you need to know to rock, to convince in your job interview and do not get rejections. Um, so this is what we do. So if you need help with that, um, if you already get a lot of rejections or if you're looking for a new job, just click the link below this video. Yes, so I hope you have liked this video and if you haven't hit the button to follow us, yeah, do that now because you're gonna be getting a lot of nice content which will help you to boost your career or your search a job in Germany or in Europe. So I hope you liked it. See you soon and Auf Wiedersehen! Wiedersehen.